My name is Lucas and last year I spent 6 months building out my Sprinter van. This winter I've been taking advantage of every weekend by traveling to different resorts and skiing as much as I can. I found myself at Grand Targi Resort and after suffering a gnarly fall down some rocks, I think a power recovery day was just what the doctor ordered. Good morning squad from Grand Targi. It is a snowy and cold morning here. Luna is completely snowed in, which is just pretty pretty awesome, I must say so myself. Basically snowed just this whole weekend, but it seems like we got another, I don't know, three, four inches maybe overnight. I Me, mean, an eventful time getting out of here, but Luna was awesome, ran the heater all night long. Last episode or yesterday, I hurt myself pretty good on a cliff, so I'm gonna try to get out and ski a little bit, but definitely gonna take it easy. Um, maybe just enjoy some of this powder, but good morning from Grand Targi. I'm definitely feeling better though. I'm surprised. I thought I'd wake up like really, really sore, but I think icing it as much as I did last night really helped. So it's kind of unfortunate because Grand Targi is apparently extremely beautiful. The views you get of the Tetons are pretty unique and special. The nickname of Targi that I've heard is Grand Foggy, and it's just notorious for being essentially socked in and just no visibility. And that was the deal yesterday, and it seems like that's the deal today. Like it is just so socked in. Even low light lenses can't even really help you, I feel like. Nothing beats a nice hot breakfast before the ski day here. So I made some eggs with some Canadian bacon and I'm gonna fire up some oatmeal after this. Parking lot seems to already be full, so it should be a pretty fun day out there. The plan is to be able to get a few laps in, ski till about 11, 12 o'clock, and then uh, start to dig myself out of here because I am, I am pretty buried. <laughs> First run, that was insane. Holy shit. we have seen the sun probably since like Saturday morning even Friday night so what a beautiful setting this is I mean it's crazy we couldn't see any of this and um, now look how absolutely beautiful this is I am pleasantly surprised that I've been able to ski I am definitely in pain going down I um, mean it's cool how much your body changes to protect an injured area so i'm finding it easier to ski powder rather than anything with bumps and just let you guys know it is epic skiing they reported six inches since the lifts closed 11 inches in 24 hours and just all in all it's been truly truly amazing even given what happened yesterday what a beautiful mountain
cap off the Grand Targhee weekend here. Figured it'd be good to hike up Mary's Nipple. One of you guys actually recommended this, I don't know, a few weeks ago now, so I'm gonna give it a go. Just as the sky's starting to kind of clear up. Maybe like 20 minutes to get up to the top. Beautiful day, good temperatures, no wind. So really good hiking conditions. Well, squad, we made it up to Mary's Nipple. It is pretty insane up here. Um, just, just this whole ridge this way, face there. Um, it just seems like really, really great snow. And just the views, the views all around are pretty, pretty incredible. The hike definitely gets pretty steep towards the top, but um, probably about like 15 minutes and, and you're up. So pretty sick. And then we just have this huge bowl behind me to ski. Um, it just really, really looks beautiful. So this will be a nice send off from Grand Targhee. Pretty incredible weekend. Let's just cruise, have some fun and enjoy the snow. I think before I get out of my gear here, before we head back, I need to just kind of dig out Luna because she is pretty covered, I would say, about like half of her wheel well there. Yeah, good thing I brought this little Avi shovel. Looks like I'm getting stuck like right on this icy spot here. So let's see if I can maybe put some fresh snow, maybe some dirt, just shovel it out and see if that works. We got her out, I just think there was like a little bit of ice um, cause it's kind of warming up, so mel melting, all that stuff. But fresh snow, I, I kind of used some sand and gravel. And what doesn't help is that it's really tight in here. So like I had to make sure I didn't hit um, this truck on the front and then also I only had so much room in the back. So let's see if now um, I can just kind of give her, go forward. Um, that is slightly uphill, which is always not the best situation, but let's see what we can do here.
think we made it out. We at least made it out of our parking stall. So now the only thing left is this little uphill to get back out to the main road, but we should be okay. I'm just waiting for another rig to pull out actually, but these BF Goodrich KO2 tires that I got um, are probably the best investment that I made in the van because none of this would be possible if I didn't have those. But you still are battling two wheel drive and I really need to get some chains. So that is like a huge thing for next season because then I'll basically be um, unstoppable. But something I found with the Mercedes is that it has so much torque to those rear wheels that you, I almost don't even give it gas. I just essentially put it in drive and let off the brake and just like the little bit of um, momentum that it has with the torque is all you need to kind of get up and out of situations because if you just give it gas and you really rev them up you're just going to sit there and spin the tires if that makes sense so it's really kind of being smart with the throttle because a lot of people just mat like give it as much gas whoa okay something just broke um well what a weekend from falling off cliffs to um getting stuck to now breaking glass in the van. Um, not something you want to have happen. Damn it, I really like these bowls. My mom got me these. I guess they're not really glass, they're like porcelain, you could say. Which I don't know if that's any better, but. <laughs> I just left the one. Guys, it was an amazing weekend at Grand Target. I have nothing but good things to say about the resort, the area, the mountain, the terrain, everything. Um, it might be one of my favorite spots that I've been to this season so far. Definitely a rad little spot, and the skiers there um, are definitely some grade A shredders, I must say so myself. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you're up to, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Take it easy, fam. Peace out.